Let's not screw around. Let's not waste time. Here are 10 airdrops that you can get into now that could make you thousands of dollars in 2024. This video is simple. What are the protocols and what steps do you need to take in order to get positioned for making the money on these airdrops? And yeah, I know there's some airdrops like ZK Sync that are almost certainly going to do a big airdrop and make truckloads of money for people. But here are some that we know for sure, 100% confirmed doing airdrops. Not likely going to do an airdrop, not probably, not kind of, sort of, not almost guaranteed, but guaranteed, confirmed by the teams. How much these are going to make for you, that's a different question. But I believe that airdrop farming is going to be as big and as impactful as the 2020 DeFi farming summer. Look, this is the money-making meta for 2024. Ignore airdrop farming at your peril. This is where people are going to make so much money this year. It's going to be crazy. So let's get with it. Let's start with Solana DeFi, a super hot area which has seen some massive airdrops, including Jito, Pith, the Wen meme coin, Jupiter. Here are the next big money makers coming on Solana. Oh, and links for everything I'm talking about in this video will be down in the description. Some of those, by the way, are referral links. Most aren't. They're just regular links. But if you do use those referral links, thanks in advance for doing that. Also, crypto is risky. Obviously, you can lose all your money. Full risk and portfolio disclosures are available in the description or the pinned tweet over on X. Now, I mention the risky part because almost all the airdrops we're going to be discussing today require putting real money on the line. There's one test net in here. Most everything else will require some kind of exposure for real money. And in many cases, the more money, the bigger the airdrop. Keep that in mind. Number one, Parcel. Now, this is a protocol on Solana that allows you to trade real estate markets. Pretty cool idea. If you're bullish on the London property markets, go long. They got you covered. Bearish on Miami property markets, short that shit. The two ways to earn points here are by trading markets and by depositing stable coins into the liquidity pool, which is probably the easiest way if you don't want to screw around with the trading stuff. Now, I'm doing both, right? But then, by the way, if you use the code LARK, then you're going to get a 5% points bonus on all your trades. You actually need to go to the referral page on Parcel and enter that code manually, but hey, you get an extra 5%, so worth a few extra seconds to do it. Number two, Camino Finance. This is a DeFi money market on Solana. Borrow, lend, provide liquidity, long and short stuff. It's the whole DeFi package that you'd usually expect. Now, they just opened up their point system. So yeah, the airdrop's coming, right? Soon-ish, when, who knows? But it'll come at some point. You can start earning those points now to get yourself prepared for when the airdrop happens. Now, there are three ways to earn points, lending, borrowing, and by providing liquidity. The more you put in, the more points you get. So yeah, favors whales. Don't hate the player, hate the game, guys. It's the way it is. But even small accounts do get points, and those can add up, right? $500 is more relevant for you than for some people. Keep that in mind. Now let's look at the non-Solana space. Let's look at a new chain in particular and a new wallet. Number three, Zion. This is a new blockchain coming soon, the burnt blockchain. It specializes in account abstraction, a.k.a. taking away the complexities of the blockchain. Anyway, this one... 100% free. Just follow the link, follow them on social media, do the crash test, mint your NFTs, wait for more updates. There'll be more free testnet activities to do. And these free testnet coins, you know, these, these things get a bit swamped with people coming in sometimes, but it's worth a shot, man. If it's worth 50 bucks, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? Next, we have a wallet called Rabby. Now, this is by the DBank guys, which is one of the best portfolio management apps out there. And actually, the wallet, pretty damn cool, too. It's got a, a portfolio management feature. It lets you uh, see your NFTs. It helps you to manage approvals and much, much more. It's a really pretty good wallet. Anyway, can I just say MetaMask, they've been so lazy. They really need to add some new features. When you use new wallets like this, it's like, oh, it's actually really nice features for using crypto wallets. Anyway, anyway, right now is point system. What you need to do, import your wallet from MetaMask and then go do stuff like make an in-app swap do daily gas top up so those will all get you points and yes of course refer new users link in the description uh, for this and all other airdrops and yes for rabbi it is an affiliate link it's a referral link thank you for using mine if you do choose to do that now let's talk about the bridges now these two bridges could be monsters Number five is layer zero. This is a cross-chain asset transfer protocol, a.k.a. a bridge. So the most likely way to get the airdrop is by da -da 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 -da, transferring assets across chains. There are currently 91 dApps using layer zero. One of the most popular methods, though, has been using 
Stargate Finance. Now, use Stargate frequently. Create on-chain history of volume and time by moving money back and forth between different networks like Linea, Scroll, Polygon, ZK EVM, and ZK Sync. Do it consistently. Move one ETH per week between all four of those networks, for example. Bonus here is that by focusing on those networks, you may also qualify for airdrops on those layer two chains in the future because you bridge money in and out of the chains, which can be a qualifying factor. As usual, the more volume you create, the better. Higher transaction volume, more actual transactions. Reminder too, airdrops are fickle. You might do all this stuff and still not qualify for anything. So keep that in mind. Or maybe do get an airdrop, but it's only worth a dollar or two. Okay, it happens. Number six, Orbiter Finance. This is another bridge. Apparently, they're even launching their own Layer 2 network pretty soon. I know. Do we really need another Layer 2 network? Anyway, they're doing that. This one probably feels a bit under the radar compared to something like Layer 0, but it could mean there is a little more ching ching for the grabbing because it's a bit under the radar. Now, what you want to do again, move your ETH back and forth between popular networks like Scroll, Linea, ZK Sync. Again, getting yourself positioned for an extra possible airdrop. If you do both these across those three networks consistently, you're getting a lot of on-chain transaction history. It's a super easy airdrop to farm. All I have to do is send money back and forth. It's really cheap on those layer two networks. Now, before we get into the next topic, which is 100% buzzing hard on social media right now, I wanted to let you know about my weekly newsletter. Look, if you are on the search for money making alpha, you know, I get delivered straight to your inbox every single week, then this is for you. We talk about airdrops. We have in-depth altcoin reports, technical analysis, and much, much, much more. You can join our 100,000 plus weekly readers for free by using the link down in the description. Now, let's talk about Ethereum staking, the topic of topics right now. And restaking, and then restake and restake stuff. Look, long term is probably a giant house of cards, let's be honest about it. But for the next 18 months, probable gold mine with all the upcoming airdrops. So let's talk about it. And it all centers around Eigen Layer, the premier staking, restaking protocol for Ethereum. But how can we be clever and farm that, but also a bunch of other airdrops at the same time? Well, got good news for you. Here's how. Number seven, EtherFi. This is a restaked liquid staking token. Yeah, I know. Anyway, long story short, deposit ETH on EtherFi. You're going to earn yield for staking your ETH, and you're also going to get EtherFi points for their airdrop, and you're going to get Eigen points for their airdrops. So you're farming two airdrops at once. Awesome. DAP, stupidly easy to use. Very similar protocol as well is ClayStack. That's number eight. Deposit your Ethereum, and you'll start earning Clay points as well as Eigen layer points. Again, super, super easy to use, right? Number nine, Kelp DAO. Once again, you deposit your ETH, you get Kelp points and Eigen points. But there is one little difference with Kelp. You actually need to go to Stator Labs and get ETH X first. You can't just deposit your native Ethereum straight into it, okay? Obviously, you don't need to do all these, even one or two of these. Probably going to be enough to get adequate exposure for an airdrop. So you have a couple ETH sitting around. Might be a good thing to do with it to get those airdrops. I'm doing all three, by the way, but you certainly don't have to. And there's a few other protocols too, like Renzo and a couple others. But anyway, you're spoiled for choice. You don't have to do all of them. You can do all of them, whatever. This whole staking craze on Ethereum is going to make a lot of people a lot of money. I'm pretty sure of that. Now I'm risking only a small percentage of my ETH, by the way. Different platforms, new platforms, things can always go bad. So I remain risk adverse in that regard. Anyway, final one here is an Arbitrum based play. So this is number 10. It's Theta Nuts. And this is backed by Polychain, Jump, Tribe Capital, Paradigm, among others. This is an options trading protocol. There will be an airdrop. The best method to getting eligible for that airdrop is either by, well, going and trading options, one thing you can do, or by providing liquidity into their pools on Arbitrum. So if you have no idea what options trading is, you're not interested in options trading, then the second options probably the ticket for you. Now, this one is feeling, again, pretty damn under the radar right now. I'm not seeing many people talk about it. It's got big backwards, which means that there could be a good potential for getting a nice airdrop if you participate adequately, right? Social media hasn't really picked this one up yet. So go check it out. Anyway, that's it. Go make money. Be safe. Manage your risk. Have a good time. Subscribe now. Bye. <laughs>